because a lot of us think we know what gives us energy. Like, and was it yesterday? Uh, Gary said it on the podcast yesterday, uh, this, and again, this will resonate. A lot of us think that Netflix is my time to chill out and unwind and relax. Uh, scrolling my phone is my time to chill out and unwind. Going to the gym is my time. But they're not. They're all stimulus. They're all input. It's all like training is a hard thing to do. Yes, you do go blank and you start to forget a lot of the things that are stressing you out, but you're still hyper focused on not letting the weight drop on your neck or like tr- trying to keep the heart rate up or my next fucking kilometer or whatever it might be. So that's not necessarily what we're talking about here. So giving yourself some sort of structure to figure out what gives you energy. Like what, these, these conversations give me energy. The gym gives me a different type of energy, but I'm also fucking exhausted after them. Um, scrolling on my phone doesn't, never gives, it always takes energy from me. Now I can do it in an intentional way if I want to like just be entertained for a while, but that doesn't give me energy. Similarly, watching movies doesn't give me energy. It takes energy, but sometimes that's okay. I'm not saying don't do those things, but really trying to identify like what are the things in my life that I leave going, <sighs> Like, I'm good to go here. Um, and for me, it tends to be conversation. So that, that could be something that, that, that I value, connection and conversation. Well, you've mentioned this before in the podcast, but you know, uh, you're saying, what's it just look like? You mentioned about people reaching out to start a connection. Have coffee. Yeah. yeah. Have coffee, send a text message, send a message. Uh, I think that's a great start for a lot of people. It's a great start for a lot of people. It can suck a lot of energy for a lot of people. If you're okay, introverted, okay. if you're not comfortable, you mentioned that if, if that's not a comfortable thing for you, you can actually invest a lot of energy in that. Okay, okay. And you have to kiss a lot of frogs sometimes too because like you do find, I don't like this term energy vampires, but there are a lot of people out there who they, they don't really contribute to your energy and, not pointing finger here, but that they actually suck energy from you. It's a lot of like a lot of small talk and a lot of beating around the bush, and there's a lot of so I, I absolutely value that. That's massive for me. It's not necessarily for everybody, so I do advise. That's definitely part of the process. And um, but I would say previous to that is just sit down and start like what who what do I value? What are the things that fill me up? And think just think like what are the things I leave going? Wow, I feel amazing after that. And and be honest with yourself, I think, is, is one of the hardest things to do here. But like mm. maybe the first two or three times you do it, like the pub with the lads. But like sit and think, sit, maybe it does. I'm not saying it doesn't. But in a lot of the cases, it's, that's not, re- it doesn't really give you energy. It's a distraction. It's a, it's a release. It's a whatever. It doesn't give you energy. What are the things that like fill the cup? Really cliche, but like what are the things that give back to me? Um, and that they are different. The things that are a release, a stress reliever, are not the same things that fill the cup up. There are two different types of things. And just go to, back to this idea of you're saying there, but kind of find your values and be honest uh, with yourself. Peterson puts it really well, how to be honest. You'll kind of feel something in you and you'll want to say it and you may even kind of stop yourself kind of saying it or you, you don't want it to come up. Like allow that to come up. And that's what, what we're saying again, but kind of creating that space. Yeah. Like it is within you, whether you kind of know it or not. And sometimes we stop ourselves because we're like, oh no, I couldn't do that or that's fucking, yeah. what would they think? Or, like, yeah, don't worry, like be, be honest with yourself and allow what comes up to come up because that's more what you value. I'll share my resistance when I'm doing it. If I'm ever writing, like there's a, there's a subconscious thought in me that goes, oh, if someone reads this, they'll fucking yeah, laugh at me. Yeah, so what will yeah. they think? Like, if, um, no one's ever going to fucking read mm. this. Like, and if, you don't even have to write it down if that's the, if that's the thing. You're afraid someone will find it. But do do think about it. Like, And you're right. It, it, you do get that initial like, that's probably where the answer is. So lean into that. And by the way, maybe this is where I was getting it with the connection and conversation. Like when, when you resonate with someone, they can often hold a space for you to be a bit more truthful and honest with yourself. And that's what I mean, what I get from you and people in, in, in my life. You give me the space to be more of myself. And that's really, it energizes me because I, I don't have to hold back or I'm not afraid to speak my truth. And particularly when I don't even know what, what, what the truth is. Yeah. I'm just articulating something that's new to me here right now and you're giving me that space to be able to do that. And that that's really en- energizing. Yeah, what you mentioned with the money thing as well. A mentor does a version of that, mm. but a, a really close friend, a confidant could do something like that for you as well. Okay, so there's two practical ones for then the energy. Um, really sit, like put time in to sit and understand what your values are and what really fills you up, number one, and then potentially have coffee, reach out, have conversations, build connections. And at some point, ideally, you'll find somebody who can hold that space for you. And you and generally, it's a, um, a mutual kind of beneficial yeah, relationship. Yeah, that yeah. You can hold space for each other, and which, is, which is really nice. And values. You mentioned values as well. And values, yeah. And yeah, clear yeah. of what you want and who you are, whatever. Exactly. Exactly. 